Hi, I'm Dr. Lila Ibrahim, a pediatrician. When children have the skin infection, cellulitis, how do I know when it's safe just to use oral antibiotics, tablets or syrup by mouth, and when I need to use IV antibiotics through a drip in their vein? I'm really excited to talk about the Melbourne Asset Score a clinical scoring system for children with cellulitis that improves the way we use antibiotics for this infection. By doing this better, we are less likely to overtreat patients with IV antibiotics, which can put a burden on children, their families, and the healthcare system, or undertreat patients, leading to more severe infection. Now we'll show you how the Melbourne Asset Score works. The problem that's going on here is called cellulitis. It's an infection of the skin. Um, and that should clear up nicely with some antibiotics. Um, to help us make the decision whether we use oral, that's by mouth, or IV, um, um, by drip antibiotics, we have a thing called the Melbourne ASSET score, which assists us in making that decision. So ASSET is an acronym, A-S-S-E-T, and um, I'll take you through okay. what those things yep. are. So A is for area. Aisy, can you hold your hand like this and just put it over that patch of redness? And that's bigger than her own hand. So we'll give that a one. S is for systemic symptoms. So I hear she's had a fever and she looks a bit peaky to me. Oh uh, yes, but she seems fine now. Yeah, okay. So we'll give that a one. Um, and S is for swelling. I don't think there's much swelling going on, so we'll give that a zero. And E is for eye involvement. Obviously this is not a yep. eye infection, so that's good. And T is for tenderness. So Maisie, how, how sore is it? Is it a little bit sore or very sore? A lot. A lot. I'm just going to touch it very gently and see how we go. Oh. Okay. We'll call that okay. very sore. Yep. So we'll give that a score of two. Our threshold for recommending IV antibiotics is four, so okay. I would be recommending intravenous antibiotics given via a drip yeah. and that'll right. clear up nicely. As you can see, the Melbourne Asset Score is fast, easy to use by anyone and doesn't need blood or other expensive tests and can be used in any skin color. Now that we have designed and validated the score, the next step is to assess the impact of using it in different settings.